This is Behind the Bass. My name is James Hall. I'm editor of Bassmaster Magazine. We are in the beautiful city of Birmingham, Alabama, standing right in the center of the Birmingham Jefferson Convention Center, which is the location of this year's 2014 Bassmaster Classic Expo. Birmingham has a crazy um, reputation, long-standing reputation, for just being a bass fishing town. In 2002, I think it was, Bassmaster Magazine named Birmingham the fishing capital of the United States. Um, but it, it, the fisheries surrounding it make it what it is to bass fishermen, which is Lake Gunnersville, where this year's classic is being held, is one of the top five lakes in the, in the nation all the time. It's just an incredible body of water. You have Lay Lake down south, you have Smith Lake up north, and with all these crazy good bass fishing lakes, you have this, this, this huge population of avid, avid bass anglers. And so to have the Bassmaster Classic here is basically like having um, having you know the world championship of fishing come home. The Bassmaster Classic Expo is going to open on Friday and then it's going to go all the way throughout the event on Sunday and shut down about the time the anglers are going to start weighing in across the street. When someone comes to the expo, especially a fisherman, it's going to be like a kid in a candy store. They have the, uh, the newest rods, reels, lures, fish finders, all the gear that an angler could ever, ever want and beg his wife to buy is going to be right here at this Bassmaster Classic Expo. And on top of it, all the heroes of bass fishing are going to be here. You have Bill Dance, the big, the tea guy. Everybody knows Bill Dance. Roland Martin, past classic champions are going to be on the floor signing autographs. They're going to be doing demonstrations in the big fish tanks. One of the important aspects of deciding where we're going to go for the Bassmaster Classic is an infrastructure that a, that a city has. And Birmingham has the perfect place for it because it's, it's a huge convention center that can hold hundreds of exhibitors. Uh, so we make the decision for the Classic about a year, year and a half in advance, and then work starts immediately, uh, working on the event, because we're expecting over 100,000 people to show up. They did that in Tulsa. Um, and we have hundreds of exhibitors, and all of this has to be organized. And to do so, I bet we use uh, around 400, 415 people from Bass staff members that work all the time for, for Bass to general contractors that work with us frequently to uh, new contractors that we bring in. And I think mo most especially would be the, um, the, the huge number of volunteers that come to this event just because they want to be a part of the Classic and the Classic Expo. They volunteer their time and they get to see the inner workings of uh, fishing's biggest event. This Behind the Bass segment is brought to you by Zippo Outdoor.